Hey there, this is Simon from Dustlight and welcome to a very exciting tutorial on Artnet. So Dustlight is able to send DMX via Artnet and this uses the computer's Ethernet socket or the computer's Wi-Fi adapter. Now it is important that you do have a compatible USB to DMX interface connected even if you're not using it for the Artnet. That's because Dustlight only works with Artnet with certain devices. So for example with a DVC4GZM, you can use three universes of Artnet from the Ethernet socket of the computer. Some of the Dustlight devices also work with Artnet through an upgrade via dmxsoft.com. So if you head over to dmxsoft.com, you can see if your device can be upgraded to work with Artnet universes. So basically to set this up, we go over to Dustlight 4 and Preferences. We then go over to Devices. And as you see here, we've got a DVC4 Gold ZM connected. This interface supports up to three universes from the interface itself, and then up to three additional universes over Artnet. Now, there are two ways to connect to an Artnet device. The first method is automatic detection. Now, not all Artnet nodes support automatic detection. If yours does, then you should see it here and you can select it and the corresponding information will appear on the right. If it doesn't, then you need to add it manually and this can be done down here by clicking add virtual device. So when you click this, you can give your device a name. I'm just going to call it uh, Artnet node. So Every Artnet node has an IP address, so you need to type the IP address of the Artnet node in here and then the subnet mask. This normally needs to be on the same network as your computer. So if I go up here to my Wi-Fi, And if I alt and click this Wi-Fi, I can see my IP address just here, 192.168.0.106. Therefore, my Artnet node normally needs to be 192.168.0 and then another number. This can be any number as long as it's not the same number as another device on your network. So I'm just going to put 192.168.0.10 because this is the IP address of my Artnet node. After that, you need to put in your subnet mask. So in this case, it's 255.255.255.0. After I've clicked OK, my device will appear here with the name Artnet node. And then here is where we list the DMX universes. So if I click the plus here, I can add an Artnet universe and I can map this to a universe in the software, universe one. And if I wanted three universes, I could do this. Now this particular show only has one DMX universe, which is why I'm only seeing universe one here. But if I just click OK, Go to patch. Imagine if I had another couple of DMX universes with some lights in like this. Go back to the preferences, devices, Artnet node. I can now select universe two and universe three. And then I can map these to the corresponding Artnet universes. Something that's important to know is that Artnet universes always start from zero. So a little bit confusing, but uh, just bear that in mind when you're assigning your universes in Daslight to the universes on your Artnet node. Now, most Artnet nodes allow you to select a universe or the XLR sockets will automatically correspond to a range of universes, 0 to 7, for example, if there are 8 XLR sockets on the Artnet node. So the information of the Artnet node can be found at the bottom here. 
Note that the ARTNET data is transmitted on port 2430, so if you have a firewall on your router, you need to make sure that this port is enabled. You can edit this information down here by clicking Edit. Now, this checkbox, Use Broadcast, is quite important for certain ARTNET nodes. Basically, Daslight sends all the ARTNET information to this IP address, 192.168.0.10. If you use Broadcast, Daslight will actually send it to all IP addresses on the network. So it will fire the ARTNET messages out all over the network so every single device can hear the message. So with some ARTNET devices, you have to have this enabled. If you're having a problem and the ARTNET device isn't receiving the DMX, it can often be good to enable this because it can help resolve IP address related issues. And that's basically it. You've now got the ARTNET set up. Um, just note that in some, with some ARTNET nodes, you'll automatically see it detected here and you can activate it, but it's not possible to automatically get the universe information. I think uh, there's an ARTNET node by Alation which works this way. Therefore, you can automatically click it here, you can click active here, but then you need to set up the ports manually. You need to check this little uh, checkbox down here and click these plus or minus buttons to manually enter the DMX universe and ARTNET universe information. So just a little tip there. Anyway, if you've got any questions on ARTNET control, which devices you need to use the ARTNET, or if you want any tips on a, a good ARTNET node to use on Daslight or any wiring diagrams, feel free to drop us a message either by email or over the forum, and we'll do what we can to help you.